This video is about adding meals and snacks into your record keeping. After viewing this video, you will learn how to add a meal, how to edit and delete a meal, how to copy a meal from one day to the next, how to add food items from your pantry into your record keeping, how to send your freebies left to your phone, and to read the freebie totals table. Food record keeping is probably the most important behavior you're going to do for your weight loss. If there is a magic bullet for weight loss, it is record keeping. I see it all the time. Those that succeed, record keep. Those that don't record keep either don't lose weight or they stay where they are. Not only record keeping is going to help you see how well you're doing or where will you need help with, but also your nutrition coach can see what you're doing and give you better guidance. So I do recommend to daily record keep and to put all your efforts on your record keeping. Now before we start, let me tell you what we find in this page. In the upper corner, we have your prescription of calories, your goal, and as you enter your meals, you can see the calories remaining and the calories eaten. Also, to the right here, we find the table of the freebies. This keeps a score of what you have left for the day or what you went over but remember, even though your freebies are daily, you also have a week. And that's what we're going to have another video where we're going to explain how to read your weekly summary. So don't focus so much on day to day. Also look at your weekly summary. All right. To enter a meal, all you need to do is come and choose under meal what meal you're doing. So let's select breakfast. Then you're going to give us the time that you're doing your breakfast. And yes, we want to see how hungry you are at the time of eating. So I'm going to say that I was ready to eat at breakfast time. We also want to know your mood at the time of eating. This will tell us if you are stress eating or not, or if you're doing any sort of emotional eating. If you are not doing stress eating or emotional eating, you may not need to continue recording these items. Also, we like to know who you're with and where you are at the time of eating. Your coach will be able to see all of these and help you if there is a problem. Now, to find foods as you enter your records, you need to click on this box and remember that you only will find food items if they are in your pantry. If the food is not in your pantry, the search engine is not going to find the food item and you need to add it to your pantry. But for now, let's say you eat your favorite breakfast. So I'm going to select my favorite breakfast, which was Manuel's favorite breakfast and I have previously entered this breakfast as a combo so you can see how fast it is now that I enter the combo I don't have to describe my breakfast by writing each item that was involved in the breakfast now to save my breakfast all I need to do now is click at meal that button save the breakfast as you can see my breakfast is 378 calories you can see the freebies consumed during my breakfast and not only that to the right here now you can see the freebies that have been eaten and what I have left for the following meals So now let's copy a meal. Fairly simple to do. All you need to do is select a day from the past. 
So I'm going to actually select from yesterday and I'm going to copy not the entire stays meals, but I'm going to select only the snack from 11 a.m. because it was the same snack that I did yesterday, I just did today. And what you need to do is just click copy and that will bring the snack from yesterday to today. Now, say that you didn't quite have the same exact snack and you didn't have the almonds at this time. No worries, all you need to do now is edit the snack by clicking edit and now you will have to type zero under the snack box and that will delete the snacks out of your snack meal. Now let's click save and you can see now the nuts were removed from your snack meal. Now to your right again we're keeping track of what you have left. Now you notice something when yellow. Yellow means that you are eating something that has fat in it. No worries, that doesn't mean you cannot eat it. That probably was caused by the string cheese because the string cheese is not a very lean meat, which means then it's going to cost you two things. It's going to cost you a meat and it's, it's going to cost you a fat. But the computer is doing all that tracking for you. All you need to do is tell us what you're eating and we tell you how to use your freebies throughout the day. Very simple way to manage your freebies. And remember, you have a week, not only today. Now I'm going to demonstrate how to enter a food to your pantry as your record keep. So let's say you go out to lunch and eat lunch at 1 p.m. and again I was ready to eat and my mood was okay and it was this time at work. Alright, so I had a turkey sandwich with tomato soup. No problem, let's type now bread for the bread that I ate for my sandwich and that was actually two slices I had turkey breast with that and uh, there it is turkey breast this time I actually had four ounces in my sandwich and I had tomato soup so I'm gonna type tomato because soup will probably give you a bigger list. Tomato is a more of a quick description of what you're doing. And I don't see tomato soup. That doesn't mean you don't have it and we don't have it. Let's search it in our food list. So you don't need to spend time in the food pantry trying to look for everything you eat. You actually can record keep and add foods to your pantry as you record keep. Fairly simple, you click Add Foods to Pantry. That will open a box to the right here. And uh, we're going to find it in our food list. And now here I'm going to actually type tomato soup. And uh, there we go. And I actually, oh, look at that. I was in Panera and I had the vegetarian creamy tomato soup. All I need to do then I have that add to pantry. Again, this means it's in your pantry now. Now I can actually search it, Panera. And there it is. And I had a cup of that soup. Now I'm going to save my meal by clicking add meal. And that will now give me the calories for my meal again and the food freebies eaten throughout my meal. Now to the right now here, let's see what we have. Something went red, which mean that I overdid my fat today. Again, no worries if things go red. This is a very common thing. No one is perfect. No one expects you to be perfect. Remember we have a week to manage your freebies. 
So now you want to know what you have left and you don't, you're not going to be by your computer, say, by dinner time. So all you need to do now is click here in this blue area and this will send you an email to your phone with what you have left and it tells you that you don't have any fats left. All you need to do is just click send and that will send the freebies left to your phone if you get emails in your phone. That way you can plan your dinner and or your afternoon snack based on what you have left.